Hey, how you doing? Back at it again with another build video. This time with another striker build. All right, but we're using Memento, yeah, boy. And this is to uh, show off the chameleon. I believe this build fully utilizes chameleon to its fullest potential. It is ex expertise 22, but that's just to show how powerful this can get. Um, this build is even strong at zero expertise, but most most players should be able to get it up to 10. Uh, expertise level 10 is fairly easy to get. Just focus on your gear sets, brand sets, and basic weapons, and you should be able to get to 10 fairly easily. And then leveling up your weapon up to level 10 is fairly basic. Um, doesn't require any exotic components until after you reach level, uh, until after level 10. So, should be fairly easy. Now this uh, will show you what max potential could be as of yet. Because I believe we will get higher expertise levels as we go on to further seasons. All right, it's a four-piece striker build, but I rolled armor on three of these pieces, as you can see. I also expertise everything to 11 on these, just to get that extra armor. With Memento, I'm at 1.6 million armor. Um, I do have one Picaros as well for the extra weapon damage and to roll a skill tier on that. And that's in order to go with the one skill tier that I get from Technician and also the one I get from Momento, which is a total of three skill tier for the Artificer. And my shield is actually at tier six with that. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Wait, one, two, three. Four, five, six, I believe seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm actually at seven on the shield, but it only goes up to six. So there you go. Um, I guess I could add a, another, sh well, it doesn't really matter. This is the, the extra skill tier is for the um, artificer. I wanted it up to three so that I have 300% charge efficiency. And the buff amount is 41%. Um, if I took that away, put another armor core, I would be at like 31 or so percent. Both of my skills are at expertise 10. And I am using the TDI custom card for the extra skill tier when I'm using this weapon. And I have future perfect just so I can get some kills with that. If I have full stacks of striker, this thing slaps. Um, I believe this, the, this gun this gun type the card 45 is the strongest gun you can get with four attachments i believe from what i've like farmed for that's what it seemed like all right i have crit hit damage and chance rolled on everything i have a crit hit chance of 46.5 percent and a crit hit damage of 117 Alrighty, and shotgun is just used for stacking, mainly. Alright, and shooting heavies and warhounds. Alright, and I have the shield with the artificer, just so the sh uh, artificer will heal my shield. I'm actually going to um, just assign something else real quick just so it, it i know it works because sometimes I, I lately i've been having some issues stem efficiency does not do anything on um the artificer i don't have i don't have a mod to put in this slot that'll do anything 
not sure what I can use, but as you can see, stem efficiency doesn't do anything. If you look in the stats, it's not it's not changing any of those stats, so it's literally not doing anything. Duration doesn't really do anything because I'm gonna be leaving it on my back, my back, my bag, bag or back, either one. It's on my backpack, so both are correct. Anyways. Uh, range doesn't really matter either. So you really don't even need any of these mods, to be honest. Um, it just helps for, uh, I mean, really just looking for a higher skill tier. And tier 3 is decent. It's decent. It's very good. Um, so that is it. That's the build right there. And if you wanted to use this in Legendary... It's actually a very good choice. I would just roll. I would just put um, some protection from elite mods on here. All right. So there you go. In those three slots, just put protection from elite. I believe they're all crit hit damage. So all you're losing is out is some of that crit hit damage, and none of that chance. So uh, for the uh, chameleon. Um, hitting 75 body shots grants 90% weapon damage. 30 headshots give you 20% crit hit chance and 50% crit hit damage for 45 seconds. And hitting 30 leg shots grant 150% reload speed, which is a pretty significant reload buff. Um, I don't focus on reload unless it's like a heavy or warhound, so I can shoot their legs real easily. Um, other than that, I don't. I just worry about body shots and headshots. Um, also, if you get your buffs and you kill all the enemies and you end your encounter um, with those buffs, like just a little fraction of those buffs, they will refresh and become full, and um, you'll keep it and it'll you'll keep it until the next encounter, and then they'll start decaying. The 45 seconds will start. All right. Rock and roll. Awesome shotgun for stacking. Anyways, let's get started. Let's show this bad boy off. I'm going to do Camp White Oak. Why not? I have used this build to solo DUA, District Union, so it is possible to solo with this build. You're just susceptible to drones, like the explosive drones. That's about it. And you know, just watch a shield. I'm gonna go up and fuck this uh, heavy up real quick. Alright, my shield is not working right now. Uh, or my uh, artificer is not working right now. Uh, at least it didn't seem like it. There it goes. Once you have full sex on Memento, your shield is a lot stronger with that 30% skill efficiency. Enemy transmission intercepted. This is Tails. Got eyes on a group of JTF hostiles by the helipad. Wait a sec. I'm not seeing any weapons. Battlefield Forensics team is my guess. A few of them have cardboard boxes. Well, we can't have any of our stuff walking out of there. Copy that. Engaging. I'll start from the right, sis. 
Fuckers. Alright. A little laggy in this area for some reason. The lag from when I pull the trigger to my character actually shooting for some reason. Let's grab these up real quick. There we go. Almost full momentum. Black Tusk has overrun the facility. Need immediate assistance. Get that reload buff, there we go. I think there's one person behind me. Okay, as you can see to the right of the weapon on screen when you zoom in. Uh, oh, someone's shooting me somewhere. To the right of the weapon, you can see three hexagons. The top one is your headshot, the middle one is your body shot, and the uh, bottom one is your um, uh, reloads, leg shot. So when it's orange like that, that's how close you are to getting full. Once it's white, that's that's the buff activated and then it and then once it'll start going down see now that the uh, engagement is ended I have a full block there in the middle Luke, what's your status 
So then the 45 seconds will start and that will start counting down and it'll start going lower. As you lose your buff. Alright. For the Artificer, it's next. It's in between your Momentous stacks, the Temporary, which is the orange, and your Main, which is the white, with the bar below it. So the, the Artificer right there, once it goes out, it will um, it will buff again, so it just buffed. And then it it has a cooldown, pretty much, until, you, until it will heal again. You kind of want to use cover to your left side for the shield just to let it make it last a lot longer. That's for like anytime you're using a shield, you want to use the right side of cover like this and use the object for your cover. It'll make your shields last a lot longer. With this build, the way it's set up with the Artificer, you can rely on, on holding your shield out a lot longer, which helps you with the with the Chameleon, just getting your stacks. I don't know if you knew, Warhounds, they have weak armor on their legs, especially right there on the hip joint. So you can kill them before even breaking their armor. See, like this. That, that one's dead. I think the helicopter's gonna fly back here. Let's wait for him. Just melt him. Almost full striker. Full momento. And a little bit of the headshot bonus. Which is the crit damage. Oh, whoa. So he got a snipe off on me before my shield went up. He got very lucky on that one. I don't want to die towards the end here. I'm gonna wrap around. There we go. He hit me right as my shield was coming up. That was crazy. I'll follow your lead. Let's give them another 15 meters so they'll be stuck in the open. Copy that. Well, with 1.6, you can tank that a little bit, even though I had very little health left. I would have been dead otherwise. Should finish them off. There we go. Who is shooting me? Oh, there you are. That medic sent out a healing drone or a revive drone.
So as you can see, I should be getting uh, armor regen. So this is one of those times that Memento is kind of broken. It's broken in the same way that um, the ninja bike can break. So I should be getting armor regen, but I'm not getting it right now. So a way to fix it is to unequip it and then put it back on. Which I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to lose all my stacks, but it's not a big deal. There we go. Oh, he did. Kill her with her own drones. Awesome. That, that what she get. I think I need a, four more apparel caches for this apparel vent. Almost done with it. The new manhunt helps. I didn't put out a video yesterday because I was doing a manhunt, so sorry about that. And I didn't feel like you guys want to watch that. It was real easy, too, so. Um, with my first character, I use a new build that I haven't shown out yet using the uh, ninja bike. It is a Baker's Dozen rifle build with uh, damage to armor. It's a damage to armor build, pretty much. So I'll be showing that soon. With this character, I use my Sniper SMG build. Uh, I do have a video of that I put out not too long ago. It's a Marksman Rifle SMG build. And with my third character, I used my Perfectly In Sync build, which I also have another build, build video out for that. The Perfectly In Sync build. So take a look at those. Some pretty rock solid builds. And stay tuned for that new one. Coming out soon. Sorry to hear it, but stick to the mission. Do you copy? <laughs> Fuck the mission. These fuckers are gonna pay. Do not deviate from the objective tails. Am I understood? Fuck. Alright. See my armor region is now working. Because I'm getting a little bit of armor region. While my shield is up. Ooh, I got a shield got disrupted from the Warhound. System restored. I'm gonna go take her out. Just one clipper. That's totally fine. <laughs> this, is, this is totally an annihilator with half stacks of uh, striker right there. And the weapon damage bonus. At 90% is pretty, pretty potent with a chameleon. If you're wondering what what weapons are good to get skipped to max expertise, uh, this should definitely prove this is a strong contender for that. Because it is very, very good. Chameleon is a very good exotic weapon. Especially for tanky builds like this. Because you get all that extra weapon damage, get extra crit damage, crit chance, and the reload on it. The reload bonus is amazing. It's so fast. Alright. Boss, Schaefer. Total wash. 
up. You want me to rebuild the unit? Stop sending fucking clowns. Now, if you want to see this build in action on a legendary, I did post the last hour of my solo District Union run using this build with lower expertise levels. I think I was at expertise 10 with this weapon, so you can take a look at that. It's a much older video. So take a look. I do have a Division 2 playlist, and it's uh, definitely in there, so take a look see how it does and this was my striker chameleon build i'm gonna name it the legendary striker chameleon build all right or chameleon striker not sure one of those you'll you'll see anyways stay tuned for more hope you enjoyed see you on the next one and peace out have a great day.